Uh, little cuties. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> you want to sniff the camera? Uh, get a view as well. Bit of a trend going around. There's this guy on a um, crappy electrical grip on Facebook. He's uh, got one of these VFDs and he runs a fish and chip fryer with it and a kettle. And actually, um, manages to get a bit more efficiency out of his appliances running them on this. So I thought I might try it for myself. It actually works on one of these motors. I'm going to modify this and just run it off the run wiring to begin with, not the start wiring, because it's obviously not designed to um, spin, it's only designed to run intermittently to start the motor, not as a run, uh, constantly on wiring. So we'll just uh, see how fast it spins just on the run wiring. And if it doesn't do much, then I just uh, bypass that wiring altogether. Just connect it directly to the run wiring. So we uh, just wire it up. Active and neutral of the motor. Phase one and phase two, or phase three, doesn't matter which one goes there, it will spin it out the way. Start with low speed. Yeah, start one isn't very good, is it? Let's slow it right down. Start with low speed. Yeah, not much talk there at all. That start riding is piss weak. Alright, so... Yeah, that was talking there. Oh, it's been the other way now. We'll see how fucking um, wire this thing up on the uh, run winding and see how fast it spins. It works. These are sleeve bearings too on this old motor. So I don't think you get it too much faster when it's designed to run. There we go, it works quite well. <laughs> In the way I missed them. <laughs> Both ways. Gradually. I might not like being switched off the run one and we'll see what happens there. Doesn't work. You see the switch got in my way. As soon as the switch triggers, <laughs> it, um, it won't maintain that speed. Oh, well. We'll bypass that. Um, we'll just put that straight onto the run windings to begin with. It should be better. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Not very efficient, but I've got to ramp it up. I can't just start at a high speed and expect it the motor to ramp up to the speed of that. I've got to start from low, about 5 hertz, and ramp it up gradually, and it works. Yeah, it runs a sort of bench grinder. Yeah, sort of what's on it. Now, these aren't rated for high speed these stones. Keep that in mind. Works for shorts. I've already shorted this thing out once before. It's safe to chip there. Start from the bottom and work your way up. I'm not going any more higher than that, but it works. It doesn't want to slow that down. Too much mass to slow on this car. Too much mass to slow down, see? That's too heavy, really. Get these off, and then run it fast. Because they're not designed to run that fast. Need is that. Pretty clever, isn't it? Well, there you go. Get you some ideas. I never thought this was going to run a single phase motor. safe now. No neon lighting, not enough volts to light that neon. Perfect, how good does that work, eh? Possibilities are endless for these things. Yeah, I've got all sorts of matters with this now, dishwasher motors, 
providing a um, pedestal fan matters obviously don't work because that burnt one of the other ones out doing that so sweet and they're used for single phase motors no heat either which is good 2850 rpm on 50 hertz <laughs> Necessity for the possibilities of endless. Have you as well? I've got to give you a plug socket off the extension cord. I get an old power board like a wire on this thing properly. Now, if there's an earth, so I can't touch it, that's on. Our speed's up flat out 400 hertz. Let's do a 400 hertz kettle boil. This sets up a whole new chapter. And that was cold out of the tap. Wow, that boil was quick out of and 50 hertz. Took 3 kilowatt drive. I'm running at 2.4 kilowatt load on a 3 kilowatt drive, so this is in its, within its sub limits. Man, I'm going to save some power because the kettle is boiling in a short amount of time. I'm putting the same amount of current but over a shorter duration. So I'm going to save power using this. Oh, well, they're cheap enough, just buy a heap of these and run your prices off these. Switch my power supplies so though, they're not uh, advisable on those. Something like this should be alright. Iron core transformers to run that, and it's got an iron core transformer to provide the high voltage. But what you can't do is um, regulate the magnetron filament current, it's not good for the magnetron to vary the, the current, the heating the filament of the tube, and the magnetron on that. So I can get it, um, if this was to buckle up, I'll just do it as an experiment. Well, wire this straight to the magnet for the, um, the mic. And if it um, inverted the microwave, just use one of these instead of what's in the microwave when you buy it. That's running at 400 hertz. There we go. Run your appliance at 400 hertz or boil the water quicker. Bit warm. Only slightly though. Running quite well. I didn't even touch any parameters. I left the, uh, the motor parameters are so low. Yeah, I've got to get me some um, proper fat here. Yeah. Be careful doing the test like that. Be very careful. I've got to get me a plug socket to do this properly. Slowing the kettle down. It's off. Satisfactory. That is satisfactory. Works very well. Can't touch those till this completely shuts off. Then I can disconnect. Wow, how cool does that work? Low voltage. Now it's off, safe to touch. Yeah, a little bit warm. Has to be expected. There we go. Plug's cold. Pins are cold, but the cord's a bit warm. Yeah. Let's try something else. Oh, turn this light off for the camera. Come on, camera, turn the light off. Let's try this heater on a high setting. Heating element got warm, but the fan did not run. Okay, well, the fan did not run because there's a capacitor in that. So it's a shaded pole motor. It works differently at this sort of um, thing, so. The fan did not even budge, like a small heating element warming up. But because of the, it's the shaded pole motor, it also uses a capacitor too when it runs off the mains. You can damage your capacitor running it like that, and the motor did not turn, so... You can't run that on a VFE. I might try a motor with a, one of these, water, get a spare meter, um, that lettuce and guy meter in series at a motor, see how the um, water meter reacts being run at one of these. At different frequencies, it might run faster or slower. The frequency going through it. That'd be something I could try. See if the disc will spin faster with the frequency as well as um, just a load. 
I might try some lights or something, some incandescent bulbs, so we don't hear anything but the meter itself. And we can actually hear the meter. I might try that. Pretty nifty. Anyway, pretty cool experiment. Thanks for watching.